is um, for all the uh, uh, these are investor signs of technology. Uh, the Premier Public Research University that has a Monday and uh, I don't know, I was editing my video on my Thursday in the United States and uh, my former cosplay from Ghana, KNUST, myself, he and his new roommate who is also a former KNUST student just uh, came, oh the bike fell down, uh, 
just came to pass by uh, my frat house and uh, he called me through the window so I stopped the editing and we're here they are gonna look for uh, an apartment so um, yeah I just think that I want to vlog today so that uh, you guys uh, could you know enjoy the view and know what it is like to be in Rollout, Missouri so um, yeah uh, don't forget to subscribe and also like the video share and subscribe as well and uh, i'm coming to you with exclusive content so um yeah uh, how do i say should i say hook up with me oh that could mean something else so, um, just link up with me through the email provided below or through any means just comment down there and uh i'm gonna reach out to you you know i'm, I'm very interactive i'm talkative you know so um, yeah all right Guys, this is the famous Thomas Jefferson Hall uh, and Missouri University of Science and Technology. Uh, I think uh, when I was doing my applications, uh, we were told to select the houses. So, um, did I say houses? I mean hall. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so um, I did select Thomas Jefferson Hall uh, three times. You know, you gotta select like five different halls. Yeah, so. Um, but I did select Thomas Jefferson three times, that is Thomas Jefferson North double, Thomas Jefferson South double, and Thomas Jefferson triple as well. Oh yeah. But uh, right now, I'm living in a fraternity house. Uh, you know, it is it isn't free, but for me, uh, some strings were pulled for me by God's grace. So uh, I have free housing and also free meals. So uh, yeah, it's, it's real cool, you know. So I'm um, today, uh, today is a national holiday. It's Monday, January, January 15th, January 16th, January 16th, I guess. So, uh, yeah, it's Monday, 2023. Yep. So, um, it's a holiday, and in a few minutes, I'm gonna meet my department chair, David Dovanel, so that uh, we can, we can, how do I call it? So that we can. Uh, Select my classes for this semester because classes begin on on Tuesday. That is tomorrow. Yeah. The other ones there. Oh my god, guys, I'm freezing. What's that? Oh my god, yeah. I think I'm down there, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna cross from the other side, you know, it's, I don't know, you don't have to cross from anywhere across the street, uh, I just learned that uh, there were specific places designated for people to cross, you know, so um, yeah, you just gotta stick to the rules uh, before a policeman gets you, you know.
I want to see my department chair and uh, uh, we did select a few classes uh, for the semester, you know, classes begin tomorrow morning, so tomorrow at 8 a.m. I've, I've got a class to attend, I think it's mathematics or chemistry, I don't know, um, so um, yeah, I, I didn't see this place on YouTube and finally I'm here, so it's kind of something, you know. I oh, it feels so good to be here. Uh, yeah, so um, this is Missouri University of Science and Technology. It's a dream come true, you know. Uh, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I think I'm in the right direction, probably. Yeah, I can see the Saint Bud study there so um, this is actually my second day in the united states and i'm in rolla uh these are university of science and technology uh, the premier public research university that has successfully completed meta-analysis on stem cells and their impact on multiple sclerosis which is a serious autoimmune disease and uh the truth is you know i this research was spearheaded by Maya Washington, who recently graduated from my department as an undergrad. And, uh, yeah, she did it with her undergrad researches, and I did learn from the news that she is still here. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I don't know. Um, I'm probably gonna see her because I've joined the undergrad researchers, you know. I did speak with uh, Dr. Julie Simon and uh, she's my advisor. So I did speak to her in the fall. I was around August before I uh, even went for my visa interview. Uh, so, yeah. Oh my god, it's real cool campus. I know. Study. Let's look around. I was seeing this place on YouTube every single day, you know, even within the last few months. I mean, just last month, I did, yeah, I did watch a tour, a video tour of this place, and finally, um, here I'm gonna see Havana Center. But uh, okay, this is Curtis Laws Wilson's library. Wow. Humanities and social sciences. I think that is the Havana Center. You want to see it? Let's go to the Havana Center. Oh, it's only been four minutes, so I'm... let's walk really fast. I did imagine myself being here like uh, almost a year now. Every single day I spent countless hours imagining myself walking exactly at where I'm gonna point the camera to right now. And finally, I'm just here and it looks like I'm here. Uh, take a look at this. Yeah, this is the exact same place that I wanted to, you know, pass, and finally I'm here. So. I think I did imagine some time ago that I met my young friend here, my future wife, let me put it that way, uh, so I don't get into trouble. Uh, I don't know where I'm heading to, but I can see residential commons. Uh, yeah, if you want to see, yeah, I think the 
contribute to the food, I don't know. Uh, take a look at this, it's really cool, you know. Just pray about it, you know. I always imagine myself here. I don't know if see this. Oh my God, this guy is very long. Yeah, I'm gonna pass through this. I did watch this several times on the YouTube. I think. Uh, we were able to use one of them, I don't know, to observe a particular star, I forgot the name. Uh, but uh, I don't think today we're going to read it. Like, you can find out a video or somebody. So, um, yeah. Well, so well, I can see TJ over here. That means um, I'm not last year. But yeah. So, guys, just don't give up. Just keep fighting, you know. 
uh, if you could find any of my mates, both classmates and roommate at KNUST, they're gonna tell you that uh, it's really a dream come true for me, and uh, they're gonna tell you that uh, uh, this is really an inspirational moment for them because they always told me talk about this school as it is mine, and uh, you know it's been like a whole year journey, and finally I'm here. You know, I always watch people do the YouTube videos and campus here, specifically Missouri University of Science and Technology, but. Uh, Finally, I'm also here and I'm doing a video, you know, it all happened very fast, it all happened very fast, so, uh, yeah, I know, finally really living the American dream, you know, so, um, I'm just really, really happy, it was such a blessing, but uh, one thing I want you to know is that um, I'm not here for myself, uh, my main calling, my main goal is to bless and serve you guys. Not only you, not only me, not only my family, uh, not only people that I know, people that I may not know. Yeah, so uh, if, if you have anything in mind, just tell me, you know. Uh, I'm showing you part of my life. I just want to show you all of my life because uh, I want to get vulnerable with you, you know. Vulnerability is uh, the currency for an authentic connection and as humans, we are neurologically wired for connection, so um, yeah, I know. I guess I'm annoying you because uh, you're not looking at what I'm looking at, and uh, you're only looking at my my ugly face. No, I got a beautiful face. Yeah, it's by God's grace. So, um, yep, it's Dr. Green here, and he's finally living the American dream in. Missouri University of Science and Technology. His dream finally came true. And uh, I just want to inspire you guys out there that uh, I haven't shared my stories yet, but uh, if, oh, there were a moment that I did cry because uh, I didn't get here in the fall. But uh, finally, it just happened. And one thing that I'm gonna tell you is, if you really, really, you know, this whole journey is kind of hard wrenching sometimes, but if you really, really, don't want to get bothered you know I think uh, I should be bothered more when I when I couldn't get here in the fall but uh, I think because I relied fully on God and took him at his words even though sometimes I did forget that he was with me so I did cry I think I didn't I didn't carry 80% of the burden that I I should I should or supposed to carry if I did it without the Lord but uh, since I'm um, I left everything to Jesus and uh, took him to his words to say he's gonna be with me and I followed his direction and actually coming to the United States of America wasn't my own will, I know, probably I'm gonna explain that in another video but uh, it wasn't my own will, you know, uh, yeah, United States was gonna be the last place that I'm gonna consider coming to medical school because of the cost and not only the cost, also um, because of uh, you gotta do pre-med before you're gonna get to medical school and stuff so, uh, but the Lord just directed me and I just took this step and here am I here am I so uh, yeah and also with the visa people are gonna talk about get a good get a good get a good what get a good document get a good document but, uh, I think I'm gonna share a story about my visa interview uh, it was full of grace you know it was full of grace uh, it's something I told the Lord that he should do so that uh, people are gonna see his glory, you know? And he did. He did. Uh, it's very cold and it's windy. Let me turn it the other way so that you can see. 